Cityscape 2015 opened with all the glitz and glamour one would only expect in Dubai, as this year sees a gathering of over 300 ex exhibitors from more than 30 countries, marking the biggest event since 2008. While the ever-growing international participation is a testament of the event's global appeal, the influence of UAE's real estate giants is still the driving force in the market. All of the UAE's key real estate companies are once again present at Cityscape Global 2015. While there are some who are making a presence for the first time, others are using the event to launch new projects. Meanwhile, participating at Cityscape for the first time this year, DMCC unveiled its conceptual master plan for the British 2020 district. Set to be the commercial heart of South Dubai and at over 1 million square metres, the Bush 2020 district's built-up area will be the equivalent size of approximately one-third of the existing JLT area and nearly twice the size of New York's Rockefeller Centre. It's our first time because uh, Almas Tower and the Gold uh, Tower were sold in a matter of two days. Almas Tower was just in one day. We didn't see the need of participating in city, cityscape since we made this. Uh, we had the sales done. We were looking at uh, delivering the tower, um, but I think uh, the participation here is more focused on introducing what DMCC is to people who are now aware of DMCC, its size and its products. Um, we look to take advantage of these events uh, in the next few years. So. Uh, this will dictate how this uh, project will move forward. Architects of the centerpiece of the Burj 2020 district, world-renowned tall tower architects Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill, were also present to reveal the design of the landmark super-tall commercial tower Burj 2020, which has been inspired by the facets of a diamond. When we design the buildings, we design them first of all to function properly. They have to be functional, they have to be efficient, they have to service the needs within which the building is designed for. We're not preconceiving an idea and then imposing it on the, on the developer or the owner's needs. We are taking his needs and designing from those needs a building that would be suitable for it. What we're looking for here is a true landmark, landmark quality building. And it's interesting when you talk about Burj versus this, for example, the area of the surface of this building is going to most likely be larger than Burj. And Burj te steps back to a point, right? But uh, this is massive in the skyline. It has more presence in the skyline because of its passivity.